thank you so much for joining me again um, to the channel, Let's Talk Bach. Uh, you might have noticed a few changes, like this small little logo, just something a little minimal. Um, mainly the Let's Talk Bach is the big change from the Impulse Gaming where I was doing a bunch of uh, video games and gambling and just random stuff. So thank you, uh, excited, appreciate you being here. Um, so I wanted to go over three different shoes, three different screenshots or slideshow, whatever, of uh, pictures that I took from real shoes at work uh, and obviously without anybody's faces for privacy purposes. And this allows me to kind of go through shoes quicker so I don't have to, uh, excuse the reference, so I don't have to deal out the shoe um, and kind of wait for the conditions to be met for the panda chase theory. And if you're not familiar with that, you can refer to some of the older videos that I've posted. Um, I've gone just reiterating the strategy on this one and showing that yes, it can work. And the idea behind it being like, hey, let's uh, let's walk into a casino, let's see the easy baccarat table, let's see that condition met, blue hitting player, and then a tie hitting right after the player, and then what we would do is bet panda for the next 10 hands. Um, I have a lot of fun with this strategy. Uh, I like even looking at the scoreboards like I'm gonna do now and seeing it work and be like, wow, the strategy's really working. Some shoes, panda doesn't hit, animals aren't hitting. So you can say it didn't work, but um, I believe that when you do get lucky and you catch this strategy working uh, or use this strategy, you can definitely maximize your wins and minimize your losses if you stay disciplined and using any strategy, I, I imagine, with uh, gambling. But let's get into it. Um, once again, this is the Panda Chase strategy. I love doing this. Um, we're going to basically, um, I might have to look off screen here just so I can kind of go into it. Um, but if you'll look, okay, so if you can see, we already marked up this one. Um, it went blue, then tie, so the condition was met. So we bet 10 hands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, got to the ninth, and then that condition was met again, right? A blue hit, then a tie. So what we would do is cha start and chain it. This is where it can get, this is where it can get pretty uh, dangerous when it comes to betting big, max betting a bonus bet, but I like to say that uh, if we're going to put our money where our mouth is, then we're going to go for that bet and we're going to continue betting the uh, using the strategy and betting Panda all the way through. Our betting uh, based on just the bankroll, based on, I don't know, my desire to see a big, bigger win than a $5 bet or a $1 bet or whatever the minimum or maximum is at the casino that you're playing Easy Baccarat at, I like to do 25. So we use the math and the calculation in those terms. So on that ninth bet, that right here we seen it chained so that was nine bets nine losing bets then if we count again we got one two three well sorry four five six seven eight nine ten so right there ten more losing bets okay and then let's go even further right here is the condition met green tie so bam here's where it hit right after on our first bet second third, fourth, the condition was met again, excuse me, so we're going to bet again. Um, we're going to only write down right here what we lost. So after we bet again, boom, another panda, one bet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bets right there. So once again, we lost nine bets, right? Picked up two pandas though. Um, let's go right here. Condition met, blue tie, we bet one, two, condition was met again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if we had two losing bets plus 10, that's 11 because we hit this one panda. Hopefully you're still with me. Now, this shoe obviously you'll see boom, condition met, one, two, three, four, five, you don't even have to count it out, that's another 10 bets lost. So, uh, some simple math, I don't have a calculator right on me, but as you can see, our losing bets are in the 10, 20, what is that, 31, 40, 43, 
52 losing bets in this monster shoe of conditions. Now, the reason why I say this is a monster because if you're one of those players that likes to sit down and play the whole shoe from zero to zero to finish and bet every single hand uh, a panda or a dragon, you're betting bonuses every single hand, maybe you're trying to make up your losses for your bonuses by betting the base bet, and which is I used to do that a lot. And then there would be a point where I'd get so annoyed of losing the every you know dragon bet or base bet that now I'm shooting the base bet. As soon as I start shooting the base bet, boom, a uh, bonus hits, and I'm not even covering it with even five bucks. So, what did we just say? 52, 52 bets. Fifty-two bets lost. One, two, three. Three pandas hit. So if we sum that up to twenty-five to one. That's 75 units or bets that we're getting paid out on our one bet. So 75 to 1 is what we won. 52 bets is what we lost. 75 minus 52 would put us up 23 bets. Yeah, 23 bets. So if 25 times our quarter bet times 25 or 25 is, what is that, 625? And we were only up 23 of those bets, then, or units, then we can just take 25 times two, right? 23, 25 minus 23, that's two bets. So, I'm confusing the shit out of myself, but, so basically that 625 that we would have been up, we got a minus 50 bucks, so we're only up 575, but crazy that a brutal shoe like that still had us up 575. Let's imagine if we didn't do this final 10 right here, you know? So that's another 250 we would have been up because we didn't just lose it. Point being with this shoe, or with any shoe, using the strategy is coming up to the shoe, coming up to the, the table, and seeing the condition met and saying, all right, cool, I'm gonna bet. So for instance, let's say, what's one of these ones that where we had to wait? Right there, this, this final one right here, right? Um, if you're with me seeing the cursor, it went boom, boom, uh, condition, condition, then we start betting, chained it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, uh, what was that? I want to say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So on the ninth bet, so example, let's say you walked right into this casino and you saw, on you were right here on this bet, right? One, two, three, four. You know that you're only going to bet six more times using the strategy to fulfill the 10 bets on Panda that you would be making after the blue tie condition is met. So you bet 25 lost, 25, 50 lost, 25, that's 75 lost, 100 you lost, boom, hit the 20, $25 Panda for 625, you're up 525 that fast. You walk away from that table, go find another condition that was met or maybe whatever. So that's my point about getting lucky with the strategy, with the timing of it all, and having it kind of line up with once again maximizing your your wins and having having fun. Like seeing this, I love this. I I love this, and I want to go into a, a tie betting strategy in theory that I have because I love betting the tie because when the conditions, I'm sorry, when the uh, the bonuses for the pandas or the animals are already drawn out, or you drew that, oh shoot, looks like you drew to a you know a nine, and on this side it's impossible to get a dragon. It already ruined your panda you still got a chance for the tie. I know that's pretty easy to follow there. So hopefully all this other stuff wasn't confusing. Let's move on to the, what the heck? Okay, let's move on to the um, to the next slide that I have or the next, the next photo here. Okay, cool, that came up pretty nicely. I think I'm already able to mark this up. Yes, indeed. Okay, so, we won't go too much in the math of this one. Um, we'll try to be a little quick, but once again, there's a condition, blue tie. Let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lost right off the bat. Pretty discouraging at first until if you ride it out. Let's say how many how many hands? What one, two, three, four, five, six, six hands to wait. That'd be on average six minutes, seven minutes, maybe eight minutes, depending on the busyness of the table, how many people are playing, how many people are uh, backline betting, if it's allowed. So once again, we waited for the condition again. Blue, tie, let's start betting. One, hit the panda, bam. Um, two, condition was met again. So that's one bet lost. We start betting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bang, hit it again. Eight bets lost. Nine, oops, let's say that's nine bets lost. Boom, boom, boom. 
nine bets lost because we're right here, but the condition was met. So one, two, three, boom, four, there we go, that's four bets lost right there. Don't know how the rest of the shoe played out, but you can already see right here, 10, 20, 24 bets, 24 bets lost and three pandas hit. So 25 to one, that's to our $25 bet, 75. So 24 bets, 75, that's 51 bets. All you gotta do is, is do 51 times your $25 bet or times whatever your betting amount was and you'll get how much you profited from this shoe. And let's say even if we did lose, was that one, two, three, four, five. So if we lost another five hands, another 125 bucks, it'd still be super profitable on this shoe alone. Um, you can pause the video and basically do the, like I said, do the math on that. That's a quick 250 that you're in for. This would be another 250 right here combined. So that's 500. But these two 625s are 1250. So you're up 750. You lost four bets right here. You're up only 650. You won another 625. That's what, 1275. Once again, if you lost another five bets for 125, what do we at? 1150 at that point? 1150 profitable shoe betting what was that 27 hands? betting 27 hands total so yeah really exciting using it on a shoe that works and the strategy is working really fun really profitable once again maximize your wins hopefully minimize your losses in case this didn't work so you're not betting the whole dang shoe um all right moving on to our final one for this video if you stuck with me this far Please subscribe. I've noticed that at least 92% of the viewers that are coming back to view or viewing are not subscribed. So I'm going to start posting a lot more, um, a lot more content. I don't want it just to be strictly about Easy Baccarat, but I'd love to hear your, um, I guess, your input on what kind of content you would like to see casino-wise. Uh, I want to start doing a few tutorial videos on some basic dealing stuff uh, with the games, with the dealing, the mechanics and stuff. In case anybody's interested in learning how to do that. Uh, I'd love to be uh, help encourage you uh, to take that first step because when I know that when I went to a casino to play, uh, it was very, very foreign to me. I guess you would say. I look around, I'm like, man, this, what is this? And uh, you have to be super smart at math, and you do have to have math skills, obviously. But um, I want to start venturing off into doing that. So this right here was my most prime example of the week or of the when I did screenshot came walked right into work and thought wow if i was to have walked into work i want to say let's just say five minutes earlier um because i walk in and i see her dealing or one of my coworkers dealing this shoe out and this specifically these two pandas had already you know boom she's typing it in about to pay everyone so the point that i'm leading back to is the one where we would walk into the casino if we were there to gamble we would see the condition met boom uh, whoops, what's going on here? Boom. Is he not going to let me mark up? No need. But yeah, boom, boom. And then Panda Panda, we're up 1250 right off the bat. And even if we lost eight more bets um, for 200 more dollars, we're still up 1050 uh, In a nutshell, like I, I love doing that because I've seen that in the very beginning of a shoe. So if you are the type of person to, to sit down at the beginning of the shoe, oh man, you want to be the cutter, you know, to get the cut card. You wanted to watch what was the burn card. You know, you're one of those. Like, I, trust me, I I love playing like that. I love playing through a whole shoe. I love betting dragon every freaking hand just so I can get some insurance on some of my um my twenty five dollar <laughs> panda bets. But that's a whole once again a whole different story. I don't want to deviate from the simplicity of this strategy, which is once again, blue player hits, <clears throat> green dot tie hits, then let's bet panda for the next ten hands straight, even if the panda hits from the very first hand. But once again, if you have a preference, if you hit, hit that bonus and you're excited, maybe you bet $100 on that first panda and you're like, whoa, hit it. Let's get out of here. More power to you. Take your profits, take your wins, get the heck out. Uh, once again, this is the panda chase theory slash strategy. Uh, gamble responsibly, play at your own risk. Um, I'd love it if you share your stories with me in the comments about if you did get a chance to use this. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully I can get to doing maybe a few documentary style things where I actually play while I'm at work. Not to say that I can record inside the casino, but I may be able to record outside the casino, update you on progress, and get into that sort of thing. 
Um, but yeah, once again, leave a comment below, like, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for joining me at Let's Talk Box. We'll see you next time, guys.